Hello everyone, and welcome to Lot Docking with Lex and Riot. Riot's super thrilled to be at the Ford dealership where we are in for our 90,000 mile service. It's a little bit early, but I thought uh, it'd be good to get the truck shockers rebalanced and uh, you know, a regeneration to her systems. So we make sure that we can have our epic average lady summer. I'm going to be having you guys on the GoPro today because it's discreet and I am a shy vlogger. But while we sit here in the morning, because it's about mm, just a little past 8 a.m., we got here at 7.30. I'm going to work on the next video. And then a hero comes along to give you strength to carry on. <laughs> So one of the really nice things about having the truck and trailer is that I can put so much stuff in the back of the truck, like a garage, and it helps me with a sense of feeling prepared. So I have like duplicates of a lot of things um, that I might need along the way. And one thing that I think I have and hopefully is not dried out is caulk because as I was coming into this camp spot, you know, everything is really dry and so the roads were really dusty and I had dust coming inside the trailer, which means there's like a little crack maybe in one of the seals. Now it did rain yesterday and I didn't have any water come through, which is great, but I had dust coming through. But now I'll show you where. But like from under here, I had some dust coming through. I think some of the caulk is like pushed back, you know, from the sun, like it, it shrunk. Arizona sun in particular, I think is, you know, pretty caustic. So I'm just going to use a little bit of caulk and take care of that. All right, hopefully I have caulk that isn't dried out. I have that. This is her kitchen and bath. Maybe I'll just use this. Go, oh, Jesus. So filthy back here. All right, what am I doing? I'm gonna try this. This is what I got. I have some caulk in a tube, but I'm not going to use enough to justify opening a whole tube. I don't think. It says it seals cracks up to a quarter inch, and I'll show you what I think is the issue. It's not a quarter inch. I think... I think it's just this little guy. Also, this 
not the best idea. I'm going to be replacing this at some point. It's not uh, failing, but it will <laughs> at some point. I don't know if you can see that. I think my shadow's in the way. It was just clear and it's kind of bubbling into where the crack was. And hopefully sealing it up. I figured as long as I'm up here, I may as well take a good gander. And it looks like all the seals are holding up fine. Just fine. I've had the trailer for just over a year, so I would hope so. Um, and it's got a three-year warranty if anything goes wrong. Which is pretty good, I guess, for a trailer warranty. Three years. Everything's doing okay. You can see where I threw on some leak seal before. I just wanted to play with it and see what it was like. <laughs> Stupid. My panels need to get clean though, so I'll do that. I have to go down and get cleaner though. Hopefully that helps. I think it's coming in maybe from underneath this gutter. Actually, that sandy stuff. Because if sand's getting in but water's not, then I feel like it's from underneath the gutter. Otherwise water would get in. Not just the sand, I don't know. <clears throat> to clean the solar panels, I'm just gonna use some of these pre-moistened, whatever you call them. They're not too bad. That's okay, I have to go back into town tomorrow for the next piece of summer maintenance. Fix them then. Something a lot of you guys don't know about me is that from the time I was about two and a half until I was like 13 and then I think I tried again at like 15, I did uh, dance, mostly ballet, uh, and then also tap and jazz and tribal and but mostly ballet. And so I have dancer's feet. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it's like the least cute feet you could ever have. They're like prone to blisters. They hurt. They used to be bruised all the time when I was dancing. It also means because of point shoes, like my big toe, uh, the toenail in particular, like doesn't grow straight down. It like wants to swoop up because you know, you have to squeeze your feet into those um, narrow shoes. Anyway, so I normally hate showing my feet because they're just not cute. But for the first time in years, I'm going to paint my toenails. And I don't know why I'm sharing this. I just feel like sometimes living out in the wild like this, being feral, you know, I just, I still want to, I still want to have some of the luxuries of being a girl. If you're wondering why I stopped dancing, it's because, like a lot of girls, come puberty, I started filling out. And uh, that's not really a, a thing for ballerinas, and I wanted to be a ballerina more than I wanted to do the other styles of dancing. And uh, in puberty it was also when um, I decided to go off the rails for, I don't know, 15, 20 years. So, you know, I feel like if I had kept dancing despite the insecurities of my body, although Ballet instructors, kind of like gymnast instructors, are not very nice as a girl's body changes. So, and I just, I didn't have the gall for it. So, at any rate, that's why I stopped dancing and um, decided to take a very different path in life for a while. But that's okay. That's okay. Nothing really says summer like neon nails. 
even if done hastily and shittily. Hopefully the deer in the area don't mind my bad paint job. All right, here we are in my new TJ Maxx Puma sandals for $9 that were also purchased with a gift card. So essentially free. And my shiny toes. You can see this big toenail never really grew. Dancer's feet. I don't think I'm going to be making money off of feet pics or whatever the girls are doing nowadays. So we are summer ready. We're like all dressed up and nowhere really to go. Super great. But we did wander somewhere because while most of the West is in a heat wave, I'm in a sweatshirt. If you'd like to find out where we wandered to, please consider subscribing. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps with those analytics and AI and we appreciate you watching. I really do appreciate everyone following our stories and I hope that you're benefiting from them in some capacity. All right, Ryan, come here. Riot and I would like to say thank you and bye-bye.